Hey guys, Big Dog B. So I wanted to give uh, a quick update about the small batch of, uh, uh, of loads that I, I did a video on not too long ago. Uh, the big plan was to go out to the range, set up the new chronograph, show you how the interface works with the computer. Okay, so first of all, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. The reason that didn't work the way I wanted it to is because I created, well, I basically committed the like cardinal sin of IT, which is RTFM. Okay? Uh, if you don't know what that means, Google it, you'll understand. Basically, I thought everything that I needed was within the confines of the software, which I'd already installed. Unfortunately, I needed to install a bunch of drivers off of the CD, and basically, it didn't work. Okay, the good news is the chronograph worked. The chronograph worked great, just the interface of the computer didn't work, so it didn't save any of my, my loads. Actually, I believe actually it did save it all. It's upstairs right now. I could probably go get it and cycle through everything that was there, but I don't really need to worry about that because I wrote everything down. Um, when I go back, let's go over the, the loads real fast that, that I, I ran through, and you may, you're probably not going to be able to read this very well, so, but I'll, I'll read it off to you. Because I know that some people were, oh wow, I really want to know how that load worked out and all that stuff. So let's start with the 225 grain lead truncated cone, uh, which are back here. Uh, I'm not going to bother getting one out because i got way too much stuff in the way here right now. Um, I did those again with 4.4 grains of bullseye at about 1.24, 1.245 OAL, and I wanted to run it over this chronograph to give it a give it a second second shot, uh, as opposed to what I had when I ran it um, over my uh, shooting crony that I shot. So overneath the Pro Chrono Digital, the 4.4 grains uh, of bullseye for a lead, lead truncated cone of 225 grains came out to an average of 844. Over my shooting crony, it was actually 855 and it was about 10 degrees cooler. So there's a, a little bit of a, a variation there. Again, there's also variations with cases and stuff like that. If you use like brand new cases, never fired, I believe that things go a little bit quicker. Um, it's a little uh, little hotter. Uh, I don't know that for sure because I haven't proved it. Okay, next one up was the 230 grain Molly Round Nose or the Black Bullets International. These right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I used 4.3 grains of bullseye in those and came out with an average of 823 when I ran it over the shooting crony. Uh, again, before I shot it was 817, so again, we're, we're kind of about in the same area. Um, Next up, I did a plated round nose. These are the extreme bullets, plated round nose. Um, these back here, okay. Um, now I know that plated bullets are always, usually a little bit slower. Um, in this case, uh, it's nothing new there. I did plated round nose, 4.1 grains of bullseye, and I got 704. So that didn't make power factor. Uh, once again, I did the the Black Bullets International with 4.1 grains of bullseye, and that was 811. That made power factor. In fact, I could even probably drop that down to 4 or 3.9. Again, I'm actually, when I'm running these, I'm not doing it the way that IDPA does their official chronograph, which is you take, uh, and when you load it up, and there you go. I'm not going to load a, a bullet in the chamber, but you're going to do it. So you do it this way, you, you get the powder all the way back and then you shoot because that gives you the that moves all the powder back closest to the charge and will allow you to get the maximum out of it. I don't do that because if I can make power factor without doing that then I know I'm going to be okay. Moving on, played around those again this time I moved over to clays because that's what I'm going to be switching to. Uh, also disappointing, 700 feet per second. Uh, I need, I really would like to see that around 750 so that's 3.9 grains of clays. I'm probably going to have to bump up to 4, maybe 
uh, which is actually kind of above the recommended charge by a grain. Um, so that kind of freaks me out a little bit, but it's my understanding that not too many people have had problems when it comes to 45 ACP and overcharging with clays, you know, just a, a, a little bit. So I actually am going to work up a, a few more loads that are going to be 4 grains, 4.1, and maybe 4.2. Uh, finally, lead truncated cone with 3.9 grains of clays because I did 3.9 with the Molly Bullets, the Black Bullets International, but I didn't do the lead truncated cones. And I ran those at 3.9 and I got 784 out of them, which is actually surprisingly a little bit hotter than I expected. So right now the big, the, the big plan is I am going to, and did I start a new page for that? No, I did not. I've actually also been keeping all my records uh, in a, a Google Docs spreadsheet. Uh, right now the plan is I'm going to continue using Bullseye for the Molly, which I'm almost out of, and I'll do a, a review on these uh, in, a, in a, the next video and how they worked in the Burt Schaefer uh, Memorial match uh, for IDPA. Um, I could actually take those down from 4.1 a little bit and probably again 3.9 I'd probably be okay. Lead truncated cone with 3.9 grains of clay is I could probably move that down to 3.8 somewhere in that area. So I'm, I'm really starting to really get my, my loads dialed in. Again it's really weird that I keep testing my bullseye stuff because I'm not going to be using it anymore but it's nice to have it in case I go shopping for powder one day and can't find what I'm looking for and I gotta switch over to something else. Uh, I know right now that I have two different powders that I can go to and I have the data that you know already in front of me so I don't have to go playing around. Um, I really should get the, uh, the 231 into some of these charges as well just to have it as a reference point again in case I need to go to it. Alright, so there you go guys. That's it. There are the details in case anybody was curious about what uh, those, uh, those batches, uh, those charges were that uh, I did the video on. So, uh, I know there's a couple out there that thought, hey, you know, I want to know that recipe as well. Again, when I'm talking about recipes, this is all what I have found. It may work for you, it may not work for you. Um, you know, I don't want someone going, you said to do this and I'm going to sue you. No, no, no. This, you, when you're loading your own ammunition, do it safely. Follow the instructions, start with a lower charge, and work your way up. Okay? A little disclaimer there, had to put it in. Alright guys, that's it. As always, I appreciate you watching. Please stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to check out my Facebook uh, page as well. And the link is in the description for that. That being said, as always guys, appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.